star of the new thriller, Speak No Evil, James McAvoy. Also, the 2024 U.S. Open Women's Champion, Arena Sabalenka. And the newly crowned U.S. Open Men's winner, Yannick Sinner. day today it's going to be up to 77 degrees here in new york it's going to be it's going to be a beautiful week here in new york look at that so saith mark's uh, piece of paper <laughs> it's gonna be great um i had a great weekend you this weekend. had a wild weekend i went to michigan i went to go see the university of michigan play the texas longhorns Ooh. Ooh, boy, it was uh, it was a tough, tough game. You know, last week when I went on a rant, I said, <laughs> the people taking the pictures, all the pictures, why? Yes. You just enjoy the yes, game. I remember. It doesn't matter what you show people. Well, you know what? I have some photos of me. <laughs> I have some photos. And you should what? care about these. You, you took should photos? care. Yeah, I took photos. I took photos. Here's a photo of me. I got sideline passes. There was a lot of celebrities there. Oh. A lot. Everybody, sit back. Mark got sidelined. That's me up. there. Look at that. Oh, look at you. It was uh, it was maze, maze out. out. We were the, everybody wore the maze colored photos. I mean, sorry, uh, shirts. I ran into one of uh, Joaquin's roommates. Oh Wilfred. my gosh! Look at that, Wilfred, one of the wrestlers from Michigan. Um, the football players. Um, I remember it was sunny. And then I was near the end zone, and the football players came out, and then all of a sudden it got cloudy. I couldn't see the sun anymore. And then was it freezing? No, it was because they were, they're so big. <laughs> uh. they're, ma they're so big. Football <laughs> did you know football players are big? Yes, I did, yes. as a matter of fact. Uh, ran, I, was, I saw the, the head coach of the wrestling team, Sean Bormet. Oh, my gosh. Look Nobody at messes that. with the wrestlers there. Matthew McConaughey was there. Wow. Yeah. I got, a, I got a photo from far, now, far minute, away. <laughs> That's wait him. I have every a time that every time. Why did Matthew McConaughey get a bigger reaction than Sean Bourmet, the head well, wrestling coach? Well, because he he's got an Oscar. Um, every time every time the uh, the Texas guy scored, you know, Matthew was on the sideline. He just kind of go up like this. He just put his hand up in the sky. Hook him horns. Hook him horns. Right. Hook him mm -hmm. horns. And um, I met Chris Webber, one of the Fab Five yeah. from the years wow. past. There he there he is. Incredible. Yeah. He, they watch the show. They love the show, um, which is exciting that people watch our show. <laughs> 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 and then, so I was a little, you know, we, we, got, we got our butts kicked. Uh, the Longhorns are good. They may be my, they may, they may, I was saying, you know what, they may be my, kind of like my second team. I was really, really enjoying them because they're so, so good. But they did this thing with the flag after the game and they planted it right on our big block M. And I'm like, yo. Uh, can't be, can't oh, no. be a Longhorn fan. Sorry, guys. No. <laughs> but it was, it, uh, Ann Arbor was, in, in, I was going to say infested, but um, that's a bad word. <laughs> Infiltrated by Texas fans. Oh, wow. They were just big, and how could they you tell? They came out and Yeah, how could you tell they were there? They had big cowboy hats on, just yeah. walking down Main Street like they owned the place. And what did we do? We were nice to them. Yeah. Because they were very, they were actually very, very nice. Of course. Everybody was, These are two, like, nice teams. They were line dancing in, in, on Main Street, like, Texas, like... Uh, Texas style? Yeah, Texas style. Texas two-step? Yeah, Texas two-stepping on Main Street. You know, if Beyonce was there, she'd say, this ain't Texas. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, but, so I was disappointed on Saturday, but yesterday I was very happy. Very, very happy. My Tampa Bay Buccaneers. My Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Go Bucks. Baker Mayfield was baking. Okay. He was baking. 
speaking. Okay. He was 24 for 30. He had 289 yards and four touchdowns. You know, there's talk of Super Bowl already. Oh, my there's gosh. Talk. After one game? Yeah, there's talk. There's Super Bowl talk? There's Super Bowl talk. So this good job. Like, Congratulations, this like, this Bucks. This is like Oscar buzz, but for sports. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, Baker Mayfield and the Buccaneers. They played a great game. Okay. Yeah. Well. Sports first thing on Monday Thank morning. God, you were here to take us through the sports. Uh, in case anybody's wondering what I did this weekend, yes. I went down I know. to South Jersey to the Jersey Shore. Yeah. How was the weather? Was it nice? The weather was ominous. It was mostly beautiful, but all of a sudden a storm rolled in and I captured it. I, I you know, I've, I've been really uh, fond of taking those time, time lapse, lapse oh, yeah. videos. And so there's nothing like me holding my time lapse video on the, on the balcony of my parents' place with my mom screaming at me the entire time, you're gonna drop the camera. <laughs> Don't drop the can. I was like, Your just, phone? just, just give me a second. I know what I'm doing. This is not my first time lapse video. And so I captured this ominous storm rolling, rolling in, in. Yeah. Like from the, from the, um, Bay side to the ocean side. It was really cool. Very ominous. And then I showed my mom the video and she goes, send me that. <laughs> Do you have it? I mean, I put it on social media. Oh, okay. That's where people go to see these things. Right. Social media. Because if, if it doesn't appear on social media, did it really happen? <laughs> um, anyway, but it was so nice to go down and spend some yeah. time with my parents. Um, and, and I did something I never do. Wait for it. <laughs> I drove there. Oh. <laughs> No, I know. I try never to drive. I, I'm a proud non-driver. But here I was. Wow. Wow. I decided to drive the car. Because these cars now, they you no longer have to know where you're going. The car tells you where to go. <laughs> Even in New Jersey. Even in New Jersey, where the uh, exits are usually... After the... The after, sign is usually uh, after, after the exit After ramp. the exit. But this lady from Waze was like, here, turn here, turn here now. <laughs> Was she, was she British? She wasn't British. She was uh, the American AI voice, but she was like, turn here now, now. Use the right two lanes to turn right you know, in 20 a, a feet. A few years ago, you could do like other voices for Waze, and mm -hmm. I had Arnold Schwarzenegger doing my, was, <laughs> turn now, turn now, now, turn. That would scare me to death. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I, I drove there, but the worst part about driving there is, it was your car, so I'm gonna blame you. <laughs> but do you know that your car is not at all like cars, like, first of all, there's no key. Yeah, that happened about 20 years ago. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I mean, when's the last time I drove a car? 20 years ago. My car has a key. I know, our life, if somebody could say, what, what, what one line would say what your life is like with your wife, I'd say, driving Miss Kelly. <laughs> right. I don't like to drive. I don't I like know. it. I've never liked it. All right, I'm so a city no, so, slicker. So no key. So there's no key. You press the button. button. With the foot on the, on the brake. On the brake. Yeah. Then there's no gear shift, per se. Not like we're used it's to. It's a button. It's a, it's a button. Yeah, that happened about 12 years ago. <laughs> okay, but the car that I'm used to driving has a gear shift. Yes. So I'm used to starting a car with a key, and again, I try never to drive. But when I do, the car I start has a key and a gear shift. This car was so confusing that so my, at my parents' place, there's a valet guy. Uh -huh. The valet guy parked the car. When he went to go get the car, I had to go help him. And by I had to go help him, I sent our son Michael to go help him. Why? <laughs> because he couldn't figure out how to start the car. Because it's that newfangled that a valet guy that does this for a living could not figure out how to start the car. So that's how crazy Mark's car is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, it's enormous and cumbersome. Um, we've got a huge show today. Yes. Two newcomers on the scene are here. <laughs> and I want us to give them a good live welcome. Ryan Seacrest and Vanna White. Yeah. 
I saw, we're, wearing you know the, I mean, we're wearing the same boots. Are you wearing the same we're boots? We're wearing the same boots. Okay, that's okay. Well, here's the best part about the whole Ryan of it all. I forced Ryan to sit in on my briefing and watching him, watching him get uncomfortable. PTSD. Like, oh my gosh. He totally was like, I got to get out of here. I can't stand this. And I was like, oh no, no, no. Yeah. You're going to stay right here. We also have James McAvoy on the show. And check this out. Uh -oh. We're going to meet both the men's and women's U.S. Open tennis champions. My mom was very, very happy. Your mom was happy. Yeah, he's from Italy. He's very, I very, know. very, very happy. Yes, very exciting. And it's time. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's the reason you showed up and stayed in that line this morning. It's time to play. Ridiculous. I'm feeling very, very lucky today. Let's say hello to George Early from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, who oh, watches the show on KXLY. Good morning, morning, George. How are you? Morning, Mark. How are you doing? Good. Morning, Kelly. Hi, George. He said he wants to stump me because he wants to show me I'm not always right. Oh, my gosh. All right, Look, George. George, it is my life's stop. work. You know, you know, George. I've never been to Coeur d'Alene. I heard it's absolutely beautiful there. It's stunning, man. It's it, it's beautiful. Yeah, we got to get surrounded out. by water, clear lakes. It's, it's nice. Mm. And by the way, go Bucks. Oh, All right. go Bucks. Go Bucks. Yeah, thank you very much. Are you are you from are Florida you from originally? No, but I'm a Baker Mayfield fan from when he was with uh, the Browns. Yep, they they should have kept him. Yeah, they made a mistake. <laughs> They're lost. Now he's game. baking somewhere else. That's right. He's baking cakes down in Tampa. Okay, <laughs> you know how this game works. You've given us two statements. One is true. One is not. I have 60 secundos to figure out which statement is true. And if you stump me, you'll win this. Oh. Yes. And that. Here, <laughs> he gets so excited over that t-shirt. Here are George's two statements. Lorenzo Lamas once borrowed my motorcycle. Or I lived in Las Vegas the year before I was married. <laughs> and you still got married. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So tell me what were the circumstances by which Lorenzo Lamas borrowed your motorcycle? Where and when and how? It was in Napa Valley back in the early 80s, and uh, he was staying at the hotel, but they worked at Falcon Crest. And I got to know him, and one day he came off set and he needed to get away, and he asked to borrow my bike, and I let him ride it. Hey, George, how old are you? I'm gonna be 60. Wow, you look great. You look great, George. You look great. You. Gonna be 60. Does that work? Does the time that time even work? 60s? Yeah, I guess. I guess 10 years older than I would have been in the 80s. Mm -hmm. Do they shoot up here a lot? I don't know. You know Falcon Crest. I know watching Falcon Crest. I wasn't, you know, at the place where I was like, I wonder where they're shooting this. Let me check the Google machine. All right, what were you doing in Vegas? Why were you living in Vegas? I was crane operator. Ha. Uh -huh. Yes, you were. <laughs> George. When I talk to you, the one thing I hear is a cr I hear I hear a crane operator. You got that nice manly voice. Drove he probably drove a motorcycle that Lorenzo Lamas didn't borrow. But I'm thinking that you lived in Las Vegas the year before you were married. Oh, sorry, Mark, you're wrong. Oh. You are Are you, are you, are you a crane Honestly, operator? I'm on your team. I always like it when you win, but my wife really wanted that cup, buddy. So. <laughs> well, listen, but let me ask you a question. Are you a crane operator? Yes, I have been a crane operator in the past. Yeah. Okay. All right. Great. Well, at least I, I that's I was I was thrown. <laughs> by that.
the timbre yeah. of your voice. Wow. Uh, listen, you won the mug. You won the T-shirt. Fair and square. Now let's see if we can win you a valuable trip. It's time for a great getaway. Travel to you. That's Georgia Mumford. She came to play today from LaGrange, North Carolina. <laughs> Amazing. Deja, spin that wheel to see what else George is playing for. All right. All right, George. All right, George. You're playing for a trip for two to the Club Barbados. Ooh. Seven days Ooh. and six nights in an oceanfront room. It's all inclusive. It's a prize valued at $9,000. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck, George. All right, George, here we go. On Friday's show, what film did I say made me fall in love with New York City? Kramer versus Kramer. Yes. Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Club Barbados. Located on Barbados's famous West Coast, this all-inclusive adults-only paradise offers a fun social environment in an idyllic waterfront setting. Famous for its sunset cocktail hour, the Club Barbados features oceanfront dining, late-night entertainment, a classic island rum shop, and more. Your prize is valued at approximately $9,000. George, congratulations. Hey, today's a good day. Yeah, yes, it's a great day. <laughs> you should play the lottery today. <laughs> right? Did it, you can't lose today, George. All right, now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a Typher Dome air fryer valued at approximately $500. So please pick a number between 1 and 184. Uh, 26. Been married to my wife 26 years. 46. <laughs> George, Miss Idaho won because you, and she's from Coeur d'Alene. What? That is awesome. George. Everybody needs to play the lottery. <laughs> That's Go play crazy. the lottery, George, for sure. That's awesome. All right, congratulations. Hey, on tomorrow's show, don't forget Demi Moore will be here. A performance by Los Lonely Boys. And we also uh, begin, uh, we begin right now, Live's Turn Back Time Week, with a look at uh, supplements to help with healthy aging. Oh, yeah. that's the, I thought we were showing a flashback. No, yeah. Yeah. You've gotten me very confused very with good. the, <laughs> yeah. All right, problems. now, get this. We are, <laughs> oh, it's loaded with puns. We are really excited for our next two guests. <laughs> She's TV royalty, and he's, well, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome Ryan Seacrest and Vanna White! I mean, we have the same body language, the same it's stick. It's so true. You know? Ryan, how did you cross your legs in this chair? So this is a very awkward and uncomfortable seat that's yes. been here for 40 years. Yes. Um, you kind of got to go like this and sit back and well, you, let you driving Miss Kelly drive. Okay. Right? Oh. And then you just sort of, you follow, follow her lead. So you sit back like you this. You sit back. Put your arms away, but sit back. <laughs> Put your arms and away. And wear a jacket, Kelly? <laughs> you make me wear a jacket every day. Feel free. 
take your jacket yeah, off. Yeah, take it well, off. Well, not today. I have to work out. <laughs> right. Hey, listen, we recently had dinner with you oh. uh, in, okay. at, in California for when Kelly was presented with the Legends Award. Congratulations okay, with the Disney you. Legends Award. Thank, thank you. Let's, yeah. That's not why we're bringing it up. We're bringing it up to discuss this meal. Now, okay. Vanna, I don't know if you've had any meals with Ryan yet. She has. I have. Okay. So, how long would you say the average meal takes? Because we sped through our meal, and I would say... 27 minutes. Was it 27 minutes? Did you he, time it? He, he asks for the check as, the, as he's ordering <laughs> his food. You booked a dinner at 8 p.m. I didn't book the dinner. I didn't book the dinner. I showed up for the dinner well, as an invited guest. Whoever booked the dinner, it was I a late dinner. I believe it was your boss that booked the dinner. <laughs> Our boss? Careful. Careful, dear. Well, somehow the dinner was late night. And yes. as we were ordering, I ordered for Kelly. I picked, yeah, I picked we both had salad. We, had, we shared a, a salad. <laughs> and Mark had steak and fries. Yes. But, um, you know, it, it's very rare that I move things along like that. Yeah, the, the, the waiter asked me if I Did wanted he just anything. Say that? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> the waiter asked me if I wanted anything for a starter, and Ryan said, no, he, he does not. <laughs> He goes, bring everything he, out. He doesn't time. want coffee and dessert either. I, mean, yes. I, I know this guy's pace. But we, we move along pretty efficiently. We, very fast. Yes. Yeah. He's so energetic. Yes. Right? You didn't tell me that. <laughs> no, I did. I, listen, blink twice. <laughs> she can tell you all kinds of great things, like I don't know how to spell well. That is my She did tell me concern. that, but, but guess what? He doesn't have to spell. All he has to do is say, there are two N's. <laughs> Round. It's not that easy. It is not determined if he knows what the letter N is. <laughs> I'm just telling you. There are three T's. Vanna, where are they? <laughs> So, Ryan, what would you get up to this summer? Did you have a good So, one? this summer I had a great family vacation with uh, mom, dad, sister, niece. And, uh, you know, my niece, uh, we were outside playing all the time. She's very uh, active and likes a program always. Yeah, of course. So, not only did we jump rope, which is uh, great at my age. There it is. <laughs> that's me getting some vertical oh, there. Wow. Right? What did you say? Who right? was... I yeah, mean, that's me in the center. Who took that photo? Uh, we hired someone to come in. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say. On the so ground? We had staff <laughs> photography, you know. <laughs> and then also, she made me go to magician school. What? Yeah. Uh, in the morning, I would have my coffee, go to magician school, so that at night before dinner, we could do a, a magic performance. Oh. Yes, yeah, so I... Oh. And was she, was she your, your assistant? Yeah, she... Well, no, I, I was... She was the boss. She was, yeah, she was the boss. <laughs> Did you learn any tricks? I mean, you know, you wave the wand, pull a little furry thing from a hat. Yeah. I mean, I think the tricks didn't really matter. It was all about presentation. Presentation. Yeah. Yeah. And Vanna, I just found something out. You're, a, you're an avid golfer. I am. And you got to play in the Myrtle Beach Classic. How I was that? did last May. It was awesome. I did not embarrass myself. Oh, my God. You're great. Look at you. You're like a, you look like a real golfer. Do I? Yeah, that, I mean, I've never played golf. That's but half it, the battle. It looks hard. It is hard, yeah, but it's fun. How much and time does it take? It takes so much time, obviously. Yes. I, I'm trying to get him to do it. She's trying to get me to go to these one of the places a indoors. A no, the indoor place where yeah. they have the screen a you sim. hit. A sim. A sim, right. Yeah. trying to get me to go to a sim. You should. But Top weren't you golf. taking up golf? I was. <laughs> but, you know, it's very time consuming. You it know, is. To, play, to play three holes takes a good 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> now, Ben, I know you grew up in, in uh, South Carolina. North Myrtle North, Beach, North, South Carolina. Uh, okay. And so, and did, do your, you still have that girl group? I do. Like the girl gang that yes. you get together with. Every year, we all get together and have a long, fun weekend. And we've been doing it for decades. You've got to. I know it's that so it's just fun. your inner sanctum. But I always say the only guy I would invite to an all-girls weekend is Ryan. <laughs> I'm not he is so fun. He is so much I mean, you will be going to bed at like 6 p.m. But like the days, the mornings start early and they're long. And it's a lot of fun. She doesn't look like she's into it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we take a break. When we return, I'm a winner. Showtime. Let's begin, shall we? The Emmys, live Sunday, September 15th on ABC. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Let him fly, Let him fly, let him fly, let him fly. Don't
He's very serious, that guy. That's all the deep. dignity. Ah, yes. <laughs> Come on, Ryan, don't you miss this at all? I miss the chaos before the show, the briefing I had in Kelly's dressing room, the three, two, one, hurry, get in there, Gelman moaning about the schedule. I miss all of it. But that was the clip I sent to Sony to audition for uh, Wheel of Fortune. Yes, I mean, they really, you showed us I mean, something there. Yeah. I will never tire of watching nope. Mark pitch balls at you. Well, I, <laughs> it was something we even rehearsed, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. to put that suit on, I had a rehearsal for that. So, Vanna, you, you are so established, you are iconic, and I say that, like, you know, it's an all... It's, a, it's, an over, it's an overused phrase, but in when it comes to you, it is actually applicable. You are iconic. So what is it like working with a newcomer like Ryan Seacrest? <laughs> It's new. <laughs> it's new, but it's it's awesome. It's amazing. You know, Pat had a had a tough job, and Ryan has stepped in, and he makes it look easy as well. He's doing a great job. Thank you. You really are. You Thank it's you. seamless. Thank you. I, I, You're so professional. Ryan is the greatest. I love he's, the show. He's very good at. You are very very good at um, stepping in and really taking over and making it your own. And thank you. And it's, this is a show that you know it's been a part of my life, all of our lives yeah. for so many years. There's nothing. It's the Wheel of Fortune you know and love. It's yeah. the same show, the same sound effects. It's all that same nostalgia. It's just me saying, "Good evening, here we go." Will you ask them to dim the lights? Dim the lights, and here we go. This yes. is the which show? Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> You know, <laughs> on top of it. By the, by the wow, way, that's amazing that that works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> by the way, before we do anything, I want to say to Arthur, uh, you know, congratulations. I love you. I love working with you. I know that you're going on to your next chapter. <laughs> and we will toast a screwdriver, yes. a screwdriver to you. Uh, but <laughs> miss you, pal. Thank what you. is it like to know that, that art... Uh, how does it make you feel to know that Art retired in protest? <laughs> well, I mean, this is something he's been debating with me for a long time. Yes. And so, uh, finally, he's, he's stepped up and he's made a decision here. Yes. So but he you will be missed. A lot of people, you know, obviously love seeing Art every day. Yes. Um, Vanna, you, you were known, I don't know if this is true or not, to have never repeated an outfit once. Is that still true? Only, okay, I've worn over 8,000 outfits. Wow. One time I repeated one. It was by accident, of course. But other than that one time... Did anybody notice? Somebody did because I found out about it. <laughs> Aren't they helpful? I literally have worn this dress at least 400 times. Nobody knows. <laughs> Mark, you and I do have the same shoes. Same shoes. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you know what it does? It gives us three or four inches of height. Th that's, that's correct. Why. Ryan, are you going to do the same thing? Or are yeah. you never going to repeat an never. outfit? Never. It's going to be a blue suit, a gray suit, a blue suit, a gray suit. I guess I'll have to repeat my outfit. I can't come up with that many combinations. How do, you, how do you do it? Yeah. Because, Listen. Vanna, with you. Yeah, she'll, she'll help me out. out. Yeah. We love you guys. Congratulations. We're so excited. Watch Ryan's first night as the new host of Wheel of Fortune tonight at 7.30 on ABC. Come up next, James McAvoy. Sit down. Tomorrow at Live, to me more. is down our spines in his new psychological horror film, Speak No Evil. Please welcome James McAvoy. Oh. Nice. Welcome to the show. <laughs> and you're hired. Thank you. Uh, 915 tonight. Uh, hello. So you live in London. I live in London, yes. But you're from Glasgow. I'm from Glasgow in Scotland. Though. Yeah, in Scotland, yeah. And so uh, what does uh, does your, you know, your people back home think of your fame, <laughs> your success, your fortune, all of it? I mean, listen, I think people are really happy for me back home. They're really yeah. proud and... Um, yeah. I think that uh, when I go home, it's usually, I probably get recognized more at home than I do anywhere else in the world, which makes a lot of sense, yeah. but I think people are just really proud and want to share that they're sort of happy for you, you know? My girlfriend who's from London, who's lived in America for a long time, says that when she goes home, her people can no longer understand her. They think she sounds <laughs> like an American. Right. When you go home to Scotland, do they think you sound like a proper Brit? Uh, I think when I go home, you think that I've turned well English, like proper yeah. English. Yeah. And uh, and I don't know, you guys probably think I sound quite Scottish, yes? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Thank God somebody still does. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but no, when I go home, I think people say, no, look, I don't think they think I've abandoned my roots or whatever, but I think they think they can I'm hear the anglified, way. definitely. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. hey, listen, I heard you won the Great British Bake Off. I did. Since you were here last. Thank you, yeah. Just an innate sense of uh, bakery mastery. Um, I did. That's did my you little snow make leopard. That? Yes, that's in my little pina colada snow leopard, Stella Maria. <laughs> looks like a snow leopard. Do you know what? They give you the opportunity to sort of rehearse and, and practice for a couple mm -hmm. of weeks before you go. So that one, and I did a lemon raspberry tart, and I kind of worked on it, and I perfected it, and did all that. But um, the one that they give you in the middle is like a secret challenge that they give you no sort of warning of. And then when the challenge came out on the day, it was cheese and chive scones, or scones, as you uh -huh. guys might say. And I used to work in a bakery, and I used to make cheese and chive scones all the time. So I was like, yes! <laughs> And, um, but I told them, I said, when they were judging it, Paul Hollywood, Paul Hollywood, he, um, he, he said some very nice superlative words and, uh, and I had to fess up and I said, listen, I was a trainee confectioner for three years, and just on a kind of low level, you know, but I was yeah. like, I'm a trainee confectioner, so I might have the jump on people. And they cut it out of the show, they edited no. it out. I tried to fess up, they didn't want to hear it. Yeah, but, but I think having that foundational knowledge has to help. Yes. You, you knew to keep that, that butter ice cold, right? When yeah. I kept that cold. Scones, I didn't scones. overwork the dough. Don't overwork the dough. <laughs> Don't overwork the dough, man. Yeah. At your peril. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and it was good, but the thing is, we had Dame Kelly Holmes was competing against me, and she's like a... I don't know how many gold medals she won for Britain, like 12 or something like that, and she was super, super, super competitive. And I told her that I'd been a trainee confectioner, and uh, I could see just, like, the... <laughs> The mist descend yeah. and made yeah. her want it even more. So when I won in the end, I did feel quite bad for Dame Kelly. Yeah, but, yes. I, but I, I'm, I'm so excited. Really as a competitor, yes. I'm yeah. very excited for you. You want to, win. You want to play the yeah. game to win. Of course. Yeah. All right, we need to take a break. When we come back, we'll talk to James about the goosebumps he's about to give us in his new film right after this. আমাদের যারা চ্যানেল খুব সুন্দর একটা ড্রয়িং এই ড্রয়িংটা আপনি চ্যানেল খুব সহজে করে ফেলতে পারবেন মাত্র কয়েকটা ড্রয়িং মেচি ব্যবহার করে কিভাবে ড্রয়িংটা করবেন কি কি রং মেচি লাগবে এই ভিডিওতে সেটা নিয়ে আলোচনা করব অবশ্যই ভিডিওটা মনোযোগ সহকারে দেখবেন এবং সবার সাথে শেয়ার করতে ভুলবেন না